Hello again everyone. Looking at can this wonderful APU and this board run all of these different games in emulation. I'm just using an Xbox 360 controller. I mean I'm going to be looking at from pretty much SNES era up to the PlayStation 3 era to see what can actually run. So I'll be testing various games. Some running off disc, some I will rip because that's the limitation on what you have to do. Some of these games may be modded like this to make it run better. But we're trying all these games. Some absolute classics. Some absolute classics that generally don't run very well. Some of my personal favourites. Some of my not so favourites because I find this game very annoying, but it's been all the same. I know a lot of people like it. Never favourite game, so we're trying that. Uh, 360 emulation, you might want to stick with the Xbox One and I suppose the Xbox Series X, whatever the hell it is called these days. And of course, GameCube. And I'm going to have a quick look at classic Xbox emulation. Um, pretty certain this isn't going to run. Xbox emulation is still on the way. And of course, good on Mega Drive, good on Mega 6. A lot of people have the, one of these Mega 5, Mega 4 when they got their Mega Drives in this country. Which is basically a compilation of games that came for free. Some good, some amazing, well, they're all amazing. <laughs> so we'll be looking at Streets of Rage in particular on that one. So, using the good old Ryzen 4350G again. 16 gig of RAM using the ASRock B55 ITX motherboard. This machine has proven very well recently, so I'm going to carry on using to see how well it runs. But before we get started, I want to make a, one thing clear. I own all these games that I'm emulating today. I do not condone piracy in any way. If you're going to be running emulation, make sure you're running your own games. Uh, and rip them if you can. If not, such as this type of thing, you may download it. But make sure you download the version that you own, so there's no grey area regarding um, if you're allowed to run it or not. So make sure. And this is why all the games I'll be running today are the PAL versions. So you will be seeing 25 FPS and 50 FPS. So it's just a limitation of what we have to deal with. So I suppose we'll get started. We'll start with. Final Fantasy 3, which is the US release. Next, we'll look at Streets of Rage uh, 1 for the Mega Drive.
jump forward generation and let's have a look at Perfect Dark for the N64. Uh, this one doesn't run great, but this game never ran great anyway. I will add some footage at the end showing it running on the on a different emulator with some patches to show the how this can run better. We don't have an image record and we can't find any official files. All we have is the name. Good luck, Perfect Dark. Sticking with that generation, we'll look at Colin McRae. Platinum edition. This is not the best condition box, but good game all the same. Coming to the end of that era and the start of the next one, we'll look at a Dreamcast game, we'll look at Sonic Adventure. Moving a little further along in the timeline, let's look at a nice PS2 game. This is Shadow Hearts.
Next up, a good old GameCube, Zelda Darkness. Once again, a very good game to play. Uh, this will mess with your head a little bit. It's my job, lady. You're the only living relative, and no, we can't check dental records. There's no head. No, oh, no. Before we leave this generation, let's have a look at the Xbox emulation for Dead or Alive 3. As you can see, it doesn't um, want to boot. I tried a couple of things. Um, there is an emulator out there that will run this game, but you require an Xbox executable, which you can create from an ISO or from the disc, but it requires a bit of work and I didn't have time to do that. So have a quick look at the PSP before we move on to the next generation of um, consoles. This is Final Fantasy Tactics, The War of the Lion. This has been modified, so there isn't any slowdown when certain um, spells are being used. Moving on, let's start with the Wii, shall we? Because it's pretty much a beefed up GameCube. We've got Xenoblade Chronicles here. I had to tweak some of the settings and ran it a couple of times. There's still some audio blips here and there. Um, so if you decrease the settings a little bit, you can probably get rid of those on the CPU. But over a bunch of soulless machines, they seem to know a thing or two. But we'll see. Man. We've been given the order to retreat. We're pulling back the line to Colony 6. Ah, that's where we'll set up the last line of defense. Yeah, that's a good idea. Any more time spent hanging around here, and we're done for. Count me in. We gotta get out of here. Or we can stay and fight. What? Ah. We uh. may die if we take a stand here, but staying gives us the chance to change our destinies. We have the Monado. With this, the future is ours for the taking. Stupid beast! Next up, we're going to look at the PlayStation 3. PlayStation 3 emulation is a bit iffy at the moment. It works, but it's not great. So I'll try a little Big Planet first, which you can see here. It just basically got stuck at the loading screen. It never went any further. It would play the opening cutscene, cut but the frame rate was terrible. But it would get stuck on the next loading screen and never go any further. I tried it on a couple of machines. So it's not just this um, APU having that problem. Next I tried Resistance for the Man. Right it. This runs surprisingly well. Now when I first ran it, as you can see here, the graphics would pop in slowly. It's kind of fun to watch really, seeing your gun just appear like that and the graphics loading in. Uh, but on second load, after we start the machine, it runs smooth as anything, so you're getting a good 30 FPS here. And it's more than playable. Lastly, let's look at Xbox 360 emulation. This is Com Ace Combat 6, Fires of Liberation. Very good game. Now, 
I had it play for a bit, the opening cutscene runs absolutely fine. But unfortunately when you get to the end of the cutscene and gets into the main menu, you can't seem to actually load up any anything. So you try and load up the main game, it will crash at loading. And if you try and load up the training mission, you can hear the audio playing at the start of the training mission, but then immediately just crashes back to the desktop. So while this is supposed to be playable, well in game as it's called, but it's about what I what I expect. So there we have it, the emulation performance of the machine is surprisingly good really. The no graphical graphics card at all. The CPU can keep up. Most of the time it's running at low um, percentage usage. You're gonna have to modify some games and some tweak around the settings a little bit to get games running very well. And if you can use the American releases if you own the games, because over here in on this side of the pond we ended up having well PAL, which is fifty hertz, so a lot of games run at twenty five frames a second. Which back then wasn't a problem. Now I know people have an issue with it. They're still perfectly playable with that frame rate, as long as the frame rate is constant. Rather than a bit like well like perfect dark that goes up and down constantly and with the janky um movement is not great. I mean, I think that's the only game ever that gave me motion sickness because of the janky controls and the spiking frame rate. So, yeah, it is, it is what it is. But yeah, this perfect machine for emulation. Nice small case. I mean, as you can see, it's not much bigger than an actual Xbox 360 controller. Get a nice small case, nice external PSU, and maybe a quite a heatsink and fan. And away you go, you can show that on your TV, place all those consoles, and you can save yourself a lot of space, a lot of time, and have yourself a nice emulation machine. So for now, thank you for watching. Please comment, subscribe, and like the video. Any questions, any particular things you want me to test with regarding this machine, please do. And um, if I own the game, I'll quite happily put a video up to see how it runs. If I don't, then I won't. It's as simple as that, really. Um, I don't own Sega Saturn, that's why I wasn't included in this. So I don't own any Sega Saturn games or the console, so I haven't emulated it. But for now, thank you for watching, and goodbye and see you next time.